Well, good morning and welcome to CBS News Mornings at 7 o'clock here in New York City. I'm Anne Marie Green, and here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Katanji Brown Jackson has cemented her name in American history. Yesterday's Senate vote ensures Judge Jackson will become the first black female Supreme Court justice and sit on the most diverse high court of all time. Nicole Killian shares what's next for the judge. And this morning, dozens of refugees have apparently been killed following a Russian attack at a train station in eastern Ukraine. We're going to have team coverage on the ground in the region and find out how the Western world is responding to this. Plus, we are tracking the latest on a deadly shooting in Tel Aviv that killed two people, injured 12, and sparked a manhunt in one of Israel's busiest metropolitan areas. We are talking one-on-one -on -one with an infectious disease doctor about the outbreak of COVID-19 spreading rapidly among several Washington, D.C. heavy hitters. We are also giving you an early look at the upcoming 48 Hours episode, The Plot to Kill Jamie Fate, a love triangle turned murder for hire scheme with an unexpected twist. There is no question that Jennifer Faith was the puppet master and Darren Lopez was her puppet. We'll show you how one woman's nearly perfect crime began to unravel at the seams. But of course, before all of that, this breaking news, dozens have been killed at a train station in eastern Ukraine as thousands try to flee Russian attacks. President Zelensky says what is happening in other cities is, quote, more dreadful than the images emerging from Bucha. Laura Podesta has more. The time now is 7.57. Here's a quick uh, look at what's coming up today. The Academy Board of Governors is expected to announce potential disciplinary action against Will Smith after he slapped comedian Chris Rock on stage during the Oscars. Officials could ban Smith from future ceremonies, and they may rescind his Best Actor award. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris and Judge Ketanji Brown-Jackson will deliver remarks in just a few hours following yesterday's historic Supreme Court confirmation vote in the Senate. So be sure to stream our CBS News special report. That's going to be at 1215 Eastern. Plus, two men accused of posing as federal agents for years have a detention hearing today. Authorities say that they tried to gain access to several high profile agencies like the Secret Service. And before all of that, we're taking a closer look at the worsening humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. Coming up in our nine o'clock hour, we're going to speak with an International Red Cross spokesperson about the latest aid efforts underway across the country. You can stream that at around 9.30 Eastern. If you are heading out the door, take us with you. You can access all of our CBS News national and local streams for free. Anytime, anywhere on the CBS News app. CBS Mornings is next and I will see you in an hour.